But one of these writers has given you a fantastic tale. He calls his little booklet a tale of violence. Three sisters and a bachelor. <laughs> <laughs> The, uh, a few of the features that I want you to look at here, and we'll come back here, not to this particular spot, but to other spots nearby tomorrow, and get a little bit more appreciation of those, is to attune your eyes to pick out variations in the surface of the lava. Because if the maria on the moon are composed as la of lava flows, as many people think they are, and possibly basaltic lava flows, which may be something like this. Uh, when you're seven miles up and just about ready to tilt the nose of that thing down and land, well, you'll be looking for some soft, easy country to land on. I'd like to take you on a little tour around this crater and keep watching the surface of this lava, all the variations in it. And right now I'd like to point out one little thing that we can see best from here. You notice that the lava seems to have spilled off here to the right, and then come to rest almost in a straight line, and then send a few turns beyond that line. Can you see the line mm -hmm. I'm talking about? Yeah. Running over there across the tip of where they planted the, the trees. And then can you see a, a ravine, it looks like, going over the top of the next hill? No. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, a haze is pretty poor, <coughs> but you can you connect that line clear across the next valley. Very, very poor over there. I think you'd be imagining things if you said you could connect it. <laughs> this peak that we're on, Polina Peak, is the highest peak on the rim of the caldera and it's made of rhyolite, rhyolite lavas. And uh, we'll see a lot of variation in them as we go over here on this side and look down into the caldera. And you're now on the corner of your map. You're on the lower left-hand corner, on the top of that peak, which sheds all this talus. And we'll be over there near that bluff in a minute. Now, it'd be very foolish to uh, come out with uh, definite answers on this now. But what I'm trying to do is to get you to uh, make a, an analysis of the kinds of things that you want to look for when you get down there to really find out what that thing is. What it is, what it came from, what it represents, to be able to name it, to uh, determine how it flowed and how it moved and how it came to rest, everything that you can think of about it. So the next thing I want you to do from over there, beyond these houses, and we'll walk down a ways, is go down and spend a little time orienting yourself with this photograph, which is a vertical photograph taken from up there, looking straight down into the caldera. Pick out what you can of the caldera walls. They're very, very complicated. It's not a simple caldera by any means. There's been a lot of eruptive The astronauts will be assigned to flight teams with the first three-man Earth orbital flight expected the latter part of this year or the first quarter of next year. Space officials say the Apollo program should see a manned moon landing within this decade, Hawaii and Iceland. Ivan Smith reporting from Newberry Crater above Bolano Lake. <laughs>